So I'd like to know what the three of you um, know about source code and have you ever examined them in our election systems? Well, in our elections in Illinois, mm -hmm. we don't have source code as an issue because none of our equipment, any of it, is allowed to be. Let me back up a second. So she mentioned <laughs> we have four different or three different vendors. I think there are four major vendors in the state of Illinois. Um, they still have to abide. They're selling. It's the same product, just a, a, it's kind of like buying a station wagon. You can have a Ford Chevy. It's still just a station wagon. It's the same thing with these vendors. It's just their name on the on the equipment. But they operate under the same principles by the state constitution. So in Illinois, you are not allowed to have any election equipment hooked up for live reporting or anything receipt with a receiver or any way receiving information. But it's something that they s scan through and have to have certified with the state. Who is verifying that before the actual election, though? That it we register our equipment every year with the state board of elections and have it certified before every election. So we have it tested before every single election. That's the public test that we offer. That's where it's physically inspected and tested, um, and all that's available for the public review. I live stream my public streaming uh, testing. Uh, I don't know how many people watch it. It's boring for me as well, but I, I, we do put it out there in live stream it so that the public can see it because it, it's a process that's open. Um, and I've taken the time, Tom and I did last time, to tear our equipment apart with the League of Women Voters and show there's no receiver in there. Your refrigerator at your house is probably smarter than, if it's a new refrigerator, than our election equipment because it has a receiver. It can get information electronically. Our equipment can't receive anything. It is. Okay, but unless, like, okay, so the reason why I asked that is because there was, um, like for everyone else here, the source code is the list of human re uh, readable instructions that a programmer writes that a machine can understand and execute. Yep. So in 2004, Clint Curtis, a, a computer programmer that has done work for NASA and the Department of Transportation, he testified under oath to a Democrat panel. Um, including Maxine Waters and Jerry Nadler, that in 2000, October of 2000, he was asked by Congressman Tom Feeney to write a prototype to rig an election to make it 51 to 49. Um, he said this would never be known by any county official conducting the elections, and there is no way to prevent it from happening either. Um, there is in that he has excluded Illinois from that list. And that's because Illinois statute does not allow for receivers or for source coding to be used in the election equipment okay. in any way. So how can you identify if there is a source code? And There's no way for there to be any type of source codes because we're not broadcasting information out for information to be mm -hmm. uploaded in. Mm -hmm. And Illinois is one of the few states in the nation that requires every single vote have a paper ballot. You can't have any votes cast without a paper ballot. And we're required to maintain those paper ballots for a, a 22 months. thank you Thanks. looking for the numbers <laughs> scrambling for 24 months okay so, so we rerun those elections in a sample audit following the election okay can i finish my comment yes sorry, oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> so okay so speaking of that there was people i know all over illinois were requesting the um, data on the 2020 election and we're not able to get that data so the cat vote record um for various reasons were given. Um, but that one's actually a great one to answer. That record doesn't exist. So that, so then what is the record then? The record is the tally of the votes that we have. The cast That record, doesn't show each vote though, like how. Unfortunately, that report was frivolously invented in Kansas. Um, it was at an event in Kansas where they discussed that. That is one state, and, and that's where I was gonna go. You might not have it with yours, but the, no, I believe. they don't have they, it either. It's not in Illinois systems at all. That's, I don't think that that's true. But anyway, form. I just, can I finish? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, um, back to this testimony. Um, so anyway, he said the only way to, that anyone would know if there was a source code built into these machines is if you were to look at the machine before anybody else tampered with it. Um, and then also, back to your point about paper ballots. The only other way to know would be to check that you would do a hand count of paper ballots after the election, and then you would compare that with the machine count. Yep, we so, do that. 
Well, we don't do that. We do. Yes, yes you we do. do. We do a five percent doing... sampling ballot of no, no, every no, election. No, no, no. The full, like that's not. <laughs> well, McHenry County did exactly what you asked for, and what they found was the election judges were in error. Um, the election judges miscounted the election when they well, did two different. They did this just in 2020. He pulled out the results and ran the election and allowed the election judges to come in. And even though it violates that statute, he allowed for that to take place. And the election judges miscounted hand counting the votes because your eye looking at a little dot, you lose track of where you're at. They were wrong on, I think the percentage was 10% they were off by, uh, having them audited again. So and it was just one election he audited that way, but it, he showed that that's, the tabulators, all they're doing is they're just dumb adding machines. They're just counting the amount of black dots. That's all they do. They could have something in there though, but. They, can, they cannot. Unless you created it, I don't know how you can well, okay, really verify that. This is what, but how I would like to. This is what I would just like to address to this. So the source code, we keep, we've covered that, mm -hmm. okay? We do not have source code in Illinois. A way that you can prove that is by the public test that we do. We run a public test, which is a public test is it's a logic and accuracy test, okay? We come up with a set of ballots and we know exactly how we're going to vote those ballots. So we know what the results should be, okay? But there has to be a certain number of votes for you to be able to figure out that there is something embedded in it. But I, I could count how many I need. You're, you, you are knowing how many you have. She's saying there's a threshold. Yeah.